All right, let's dive into this. Here. Yes, please. Because was it uh, a year ago that we had Todd on? Maybe a year and a half here okay. in the studio. All right. Then all of a sudden, read about you relapsing. Yes. Now, what don't we know about that situation? Well, here's the deal. I've had physical sobriety before, and what I have today is completely different. And I was never willing to do the work it takes to um, to treat my illness. And, and now that I've treated it, the actual the problem has been removed, and now it's up. It's my responsibility to keep it removed. And uh, a big part of that is uh, service work. And um, but how does this incident happen? What led up to this? Drugs and alcohol, Dan. Yeah, without a doubt. But, but there has to be a moment where you go, if I go here, I'm not coming back. Like, that, you can't just do a little. <laughs> right? Correct. Yeah, like you you yes. went all in. Yes, I can't. You know what? My body doesn't know the difference between street drugs or prescription drugs. It's just when I put drugs into my body or alcohols, it tells me is I want more. more. Of it. And, uh, and then all bets are off. So... Um, you know what? I've been in recovery before, but not. It's different today in the sense, like I said, I've. Why all of a sudden the willingness to do the work? Well, hum, humiliation at a whole new level, um, self-loathing, and um, really wanting a different life and willing uh, to do. Th and, and you know what? A lot of people don't want to do the work, and that and that's why. Well, people want to tell people what they want to hear. <laughs> right right and and you guys are good liars yeah. <laughs> master manipulators let me tell you yes and you're yeah. but you have to tell a, a wife or you have to tell kids i mean you're yeah. you're lying to a lot of different people without a doubt and that's the number one thing probably the biggest liberating feeling i've experienced as a human being is being honest completely honest and now i get to you know what if you would have told me that i'm getting in front of two thousand people sharing my story and being completely open and honest, I would have said, you're absolutely crazy. You're on drugs. Yeah. But uh, it's the most gratifying experience that I've, I've really had. And I do that. I was in Florida doing it. I'm in Torrey Pines High School at the end of the month. And it's, um, it's issues that we need to address because um, I was at a high school in South Orange County where, check this one out, 23 students are dead from the class of 2008 because wow. of opiate, opiate oh, addicted wow. uh, deaths. And that yeah. is just staggering. But see, you have to be now addicted to this feeling of helping people. Yes. Like your addiction has to be that. Now. Yes. And you know what it is? It's I'm addicted to the connection. And, and I get to connect on a whole different level today. I used to be so scared of people. I'm telling you, and, and that's what why I retreated to um, my solution to life, which was drugs and alcohol. I couldn't, I couldn't do this. I couldn't um, go out in public. I was always just afraid, Dan. I was completely afraid, and it's not like that today. And um, I am addicted to the connection of, with people. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.